Hi, welcome to Beat Physics. In this video, we're gonna be talking about some big format changes going on starting the 2024-2025 school year. They're mostly positive changes in my opinion, but we do have an eighth unit added with the addition of fluids that's pulled from AP Physics 2 and added to the end of the sequence in AP Physics 1. But we do have 50 multiple choice questions going down to 40, and we do have five free response questions going down to four. So you're gonna have a little bit more time to dig into those questions and try to answer them as accurately as possible. So taking a look at these percentages, you might be thinking to yourself, that's exactly how I'm gonna chop up my preparation time based on these percentages. And I think that's a pretty good strategy, recognizing that energy and forces carry the most weight and having a really strong foundation in those two is a really good idea. But as you're preparing, you might wanna change up your strategy a bit based on your strengths and weaknesses. For example, if you're really strong with torque and rotation, you're not really gonna spend as much time reviewing for those two ideas. Now, if you are a little bit weaker with simple harmonic motion and oscillations, then you probably do wanna spend a little bit more time trying to do some review questions, check out some videos, get some help from your teacher. So again, do take a look at those percentages and pay attention to which ones carry the most weight so you can put your time in and prepare the right way. But then also, like I said, notice where your strengths and weaknesses are and then try to divvy up your time properly there. Now, as I mentioned before, the multiple choice section has gone from 50 to 40 questions. So you're gonna have two minutes per question as opposed to 1.8 minutes per question. So that amount of time does definitely add up and help you out. Every single question just has a single correct answer, none of the multi-select questions anymore, and all the questions are gonna be taken electronically on your computer. Now, in my opinion, that makes things a little bit tougher because for me personally, it's easier to work out stuff right on the actual question itself. So you wanna make sure you get the proper practice and be able to work stuff out on paper and be able to answer stuff electronically. Now, moving on to the free response section, we are going from five to four questions now. So with these four types of questions, you can see that there's certain skills that are associated with each of these four types of questions, and each of them hold a fairly equal weight. They're about a quarter of your grade. Now we have mathematical routines and we have no more paragraph short answer type question, which I think is a good change. And it's probably a better reflection of how your physics class is structured doing some more mathematical routines as opposed to a lot of writing and paragraph type stuff. So what you wanna do is definitely get a lot of practice doing FRQs, but all four types are fairly different. So you wanna make sure that you notice again where your strengths and weaknesses lie and get a little bit more practice in the areas that you're weaker in. If you need some more review or want some more strategies, definitely head to the Beat Physics page, check out the AP Physics One playlist, and there's gonna be a bunch of different review materials for you. So good luck with the exam, and we'll see you in the next video.